Hello everyone. In this lecture, let's study about the other types of succession, which includes autogenic succession, allogenic succession, autotropic succession, and heterotropic succession. So let's first understand uh, what is meant by autogenic succession. Autogenic succession is the one that is driven by living inhabitants. So how do I remember this? Auto is something that uh, is uh, driven by humans. So uh, autogenic succession is human driven. And uh, the opposite of this is allogenic succession. So allogenic succession is uh, driven by outside forces, uh, which can also be considered as uh, the natural forces. And uh, the other set of uh, classification of succession includes that of autotropic succession and heterotropic succession. Autotropic succession is driven by the dominance of the plants at the initial stage. That is, uh, here the succession happens from the stage where uh, there are more number of plants. It doesn't mean that there are no animals here. It's just that uh, there are more number of plants compared to that of the animals. Whereas in heterogenic succession, here the succession starts due to the dominance of heterotropes. Again, it doesn't mean that there are just heterotropes. Uh, it means that there are more number of heterotropes compared to the autotropes um, at the initial stage of succession here. So uh, that is it with uh, the concept of uh, autogenic succession, allogenic succession, autotropic succession and heterotropic succession. Now let's uh, quickly uh, note this point that if we take a continent, then we get to see the middle part of the continent to have the higher rate of succession. Now let's understand why is it that the middle part of the continent undergoes higher or uh, higher rate of succession or undergo succession at a faster rate. It's because of the fact that a lot of uh, seeds do reach this part of the continent. Say, if, uh, imagine that there is a bird that is traveling from this part of the continent to this part of the continent. And uh, this bird brings seed along uh, with it. What happens is that before it reaches this part of the continent, it drops some seed somewhere in this part of the continent. Hence, it is said that the seed reaches quickly the middle part of the continent. As a result, it becomes easy for the climax species to be established here. Why? If the pioneer species itself do not get established, then it becomes really difficult for the climax species to be established. And we know that for climax species to be established, uh, the secondary succession will have to take place. And the secondary succession will take place only when the soil becomes fertile enough to um, support the growth of seeds. So we have uh, covered the concept of ecological succession in detail. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, lecture. For more updates, you can subscribe to this channel.